Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Burner Brothers today. Today we have to get the auction ready. Yep. So uh, we're going to be working on getting our showcases ready, getting our lock counts up and things like that. So we're here at the auction house and uh, we're just going to walk through this process with you. We had a lot of questions about how we do these things and yeah, yeah. So we're just going to show you today. Let's go. Uh, we're going to have an auction prep day. So what's happening right here is Mamal is our photographer. She does a lot of photos here. How many photos do you think you do in a week, Mamal? Mm -hmm. Um, seven thousand. <laughs> seven thousand photos a week that Mamal takes for us. So all of the photos you guys see online, she takes them right here. This is the process. So right now she's photoing what some gold down here. Yeah. Uh, so we got a pair of gold earrings down here, and Mamal's taking the photos of them. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. And she does around 7,000 of these. And so these trays, when, when you get over here to these trays, uh, this is what's happening. Um, that's been, the yellow stickers are auction, are auction order. So this, like this coin right here is number 3,008. So that'll be the eighth item in the auction next week. And then 3,000 is the third, third or her last auction of the month. There's the fourth auction of the month. So uh, all this is put in order, it's cataloged, and then Mamal goes through and photos it uh, over here in her booth. And then we, we put those, merge those together to, to get our invaluable catalog, our high bid catalog put together. Up here, Silka actually does all of our cataloging, or almost all of it, for all of the gold and for all of the unusual smalls. Uh, she's the one that does the cataloging. Uh, so Silka, tell us about the process. What do you? What are you doing? Well, right now I'm actually doing some accounting work to try and keep everything straight that you guys bought over the weekend and I'll try and get that done as fast as I can so I can get to inventorying. I've got some gold to do and some jewelry and then I'll probably move right into those stife bears. The stife bears. Okay. How many items do you do you personally catalog every week? Oh, I have no idea. Roughly. Um we try and get a good day is like 200 lots a day. We can get to that if we try. That's you though. I mean, you normally do yourself if you have a good day, 200 lots in a yeah, day. Yeah, sometimes more, but. Yeah, if, if you have a really good day, I've seen you art, do 300 then, or 350 lots in one day. If it's art, then it's a lot less. <laughs> yeah, she, she always gets mad when I bring a bunch of art in. She says, stop it. It's She's, good if it's small art. Big art's hard to ship too, so we don't like getting big art, but. Yeah. Okay. Um, Anything else you want to share about your cataloging and how that process works? Um, no, we just try and get descriptions and good pictures and try and kind of just put out there what we have so people can look at it and, and get a good idea. So, Okay, well, we'll keep moving right on with the process. So what we have to do next, Lucas, is get uh, a thousand lots gathered today for today's auction. And we just talked about this. And how many lots do we have gathered so far or done? Or inventory. Uh, inventory, 317, I think. 317 inventory. And we have how many sitting for Mammal to photo still? I didn't count that. 40. 40. We just counted. Oh, no. That's photo, not inventory. Or those are photoed? Yeah. Oh, photo not inventory. Okay. So that's 360 total that we're good? 360. So we've got to do another 650 lots. And what we're going to do then is just start with all of these items that uh, we have been purchasing over the past couple of days, get them sorted out into trays. Uh, and so let's let's uh, let's show our viewers here. This is a, this is a 14 karat gold thimble. Um, that'll be a lot by itself. And then these are three pieces of gold here. So Luke, go ahead and count these out. We'll sell all the silver dollars separately. Um, the three pieces of gold, let's just get this counted out. And this is how it works. We, we go through and we sort, we count how many lots and we have to get to a thousand. And so we're gonna start sorting this stuff out right now. I'll keep showing it to you as we go. So what, one thing that's really interesting that I like is this, this group right here. Um, this is all the stuff that we showed you that's out of Sue's. I don't know if we, the video has been posted. I don't think it's been posted yet, but anyways, we got this on a house call. This is some Navajo jewelry. Um, really, really pretty, pretty bracelet right here. This one here as well. Um, let's see here, the gold filled is nice. Here's a really cool Victorian bangle bracelet, gold filled bangle bracelet. Another turquoise and silver um, Indian bracelet here. So we'll just go through and we'll tray all these up and then we'll pass them on to me and the photo or uh, my wife, Silka, to actually catalog. So it'll, depending on who's ahead, one of them will get this tray. Um, and then, oh yeah, those are nice. Look at those. Is that that green stone? What is that? That's a turquoise. Those it's are both, yeah, turquoise. it's a green turquoise. And then this is a big gold filled cameo. Um, it's not gold chain, it's a gold filled chain as well. But it's a really fun cameo. 
And then these dimes will sell in in the lots like this. We've got a real nice watch right here. This is funny because this is a, a Victorian watch or turn, turn of the century, 1920s, I don't know, somewhere in there. But it's, it, what, what I like about it is it says uh, Dayton, Ohio. I don't know if you can read that on the face or not, if that's showing up, but it's uh, Dayton, Ohio. Uh, and it's got this uh, 32nd degree. I'm guessing that's a Masonic piece. Um, uh, just really interesting gold-filled watch. So that's going to be in the auction next week as well. And then we have this bag of gold right here we need to sort out. So let's get another tray out and get all that going, um, Luke, on the gold. Uh, this is all 14 karat gold. We, we, got a, we got a couple dealers that we buy a lot of gold from. And so we're, we're going to sort all this out into sellable lots. It's all nice gold. Um, and this is the pieces that, that are not scrapping, like they're better than scrap. So uh, that's a big pile of gold. And what we do now is we just sort it out into individual lots. Uh, yeah, so Lucas is going to sort the gold out. What'd you just find? We found a little Hunger Games pin. It, it looks like Hunger Hunger Games. Yeah, we're going to go watch this movie Friday. That's just funny. It does look like Hunger Games. So here, here's what we got going on. We uh, after we get them untangled and sorted, we 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 tray them up like this, and then from here they'll actually go get weighed. Um, if there's something that needs tested, we'll test. We confirm that everything's 14 karat gold. So uh, there's the process. So we go from this to now sort it over to here, and then we'll pass this on to Mamma and to Silka to photo and catalog. Here's some more gold that we got so far, and Lucas is still untangling gold. And then uh, I'm getting ready to start into all of these pearls right here. So we're gonna go through the pearl, pearls and the coral and, and everything in this bag and get it sorted out. So Lucas and I, we had to move spots uh, back here where we normally sort at, and we're gonna keep sorting here uh, with you guys. So, uh, so we got some pearls, a really interesting group of pearls that came out of, a, uh, I'm not even sure which dealer we got these from. Um, somewhere at the antique center last one. I think that's got a sterling clasp on that one. Uh, so we'll put those in there. What do you got, Luke? Show, show, our, show our viewers. Here's a nice pink pink pearl set. They got a sterling clasp. It looks like this is um, the same set as that. You'd wear both at the same time. And this is sterling as well. This is fun. Look at the uh, mother of pearl in the middle here. Uh, just a really cool mother of pearl piece. That's a sterling clasp. A sterling clasp. This one's all glass beads. There's some uh, moonstone and stuff in there. Um, I think this is a sterling clasp. I'm not 100%. It is a vintage piece. We'll have to test that one and confirm, but that's just a vintage, really cool vintage piece. I like the big uh, opaline looking piece of glass on the end here. Got a similar thing to tiger eye thing on here. Okay. Um, What's the black tiger eye called? The black tiger eye. I don't know, black tiger eye. It looks like tiger eye, but it is black. Uh, what is the name of that stone? Somebody on there is going to say, hey, this is what that is. Anyways, this is what we got. So this piece here, was that a sterling class blue? I didn't check. I assume it is. I assume it is. Most of this was all sterling. That was all pre-sorted sterling class. Um, so let's keep going here. Let's see what else we got. Malachite. This is a fun piece of malachite. Now this one looks like either a gold or gold gold clasp. Uh, it is signed. Don't you look at that? Show them. Show the viewers the malachite first. That's a really cool piece of malachite. And then this is a matching pair of necklaces. We might sell these two together. This is a stone at the bottom, um, sterling ball there in the middle, and then they've got sterling fittings on the top, the leather cord. So uh, it looks like there's two sizes to that. So maybe we'll sell them separate since there's two sizes. I can't see what it is. I don't have Where's my loop. Where's the loop? I got oh, one right. loop here. Here, I got one right here. Oh. That's why I wanted you to look. Here, tell us what we got. Tell us what we got. Use the loop. Uh, there's some quartz. Let's wait on that one. 12K um, gold filled. 12K gold filled. Okay, so toss it in that box. 12K gold filled, but this really cool malachite. I like the malachite on that one. Um, this one is a sterling and pearl. So here's a sterling star uh, and, a, and a set on. Oops, I can get it to quit swinging on me. Uh, there we go. Sterling. That was still swinging. Sterling and pearls, anyways. Uh, that's what you got right here. Sterling and pearls. Put that one on down. This looks to be a sterling and coral, maybe? Uh, what we it looks like a piece of turquoise. I'm um, not sure what the brown is. is it, are those some kind of like a nut? Like a carving of some sort? I think it is, actually. They look like they're maybe a, like a walnut or some kind of a nut to, that's carved out. Uh, here's another set of sterling, sterling clasp uh, pearl set here. I think that one's sterling. What does that say on it? That might be gold, it might say 10K. What does that say? This one is sterling. 
Nice set of sterling pearls here, sterling class pearls. So those can go there. It's, um, I think it's an, um, a maker's mark. It's a little circle with a line and a little. Okay. And here you go. Here, what's this one say? It's got a, it's got a mark on that class. Yeah, I check the class. But I yeah. This again, a lot of pearls. Uh, so how do we get? A lot of folks say, how do you get all this jewelry every week? There's lots of pearls, and I mean, there's some really gorgeous pearls in here, and we'll have good photos of these on our website. But what happens is we we have several different groups of people we work with that actually um, get silver and gold um, from. Uh, this guy gets it sent to him from Florida. It comes out of a, I don't know if it's a Goodwill or how he gets it, but, but something like that. And then he gets it and then uh, he sorts it all. And then he sells us all of the, uh, the, the silver and the uh, stuff like this. And then we put it up at auction. Um, and we get a lot of, you know, a lot, a lot of our jewelry from a lot of dealers. And then we also buy out of houses, but this stuff right here is all from, from our dealer friend that sells to us every week. Um, and we just, we've done this along with him. He knows what we're going to pay. We pay fair prices. Uh, and then we just auction it all off um, and, and see where it gets to. So, so we're on our way to the thousand lots, and we've been working at getting some stuff unboxed and ready. This is kind of interesting. We got a really nice Peking glass jar that was uh, really cameo color Peking. Look, look at the quality. Really, really high quality. Uh, the Fenton collection. How is that? One lot for all that. Fenton collection is all there, and then here's some more Fenton. Down here, all the way across. And then this is an interesting group here as well. This is Christopher Rees, uh, these three pieces are. So the big glass jar in the back, back here. And then these two pieces are both signed Christopher Rees. And then look at this. This is a vintage Rolex and a vintage Tudor display. Really nice uh, solar watch in here. This is an Atmos um, clock, Le Coultre clock. It's never been out of the box before. So we're gonna get that out. Um, look, nice bronze over on the side. Okay, this is all part of the lot count. We have a Snoopy over here, uh, some Redline Hot Wheels. An inter interesting mix this time. There's some snuff bottles and whatnot, some Hummels, a little Cap of the Monte figurine, um, some toys. Then we drop down to this level. There's some political buttons, Van Briegel, some more art glass, the Roseville, Kate Spade bag, and a Valentino bag. And then this is the stuff that we had shown you yesterday out of the house call that uh, Lucas and I had picked up in Columbus, over at Plain City, actually. And then these are all designer bags down here. We're getting a count on these. And then these, we don't really sell shoes, but these are all like in the box. Really nice. And there's some Coach and Calvin Klein and Columbia and uh, just nice, interesting stuff there. So, uh, Luke, what number, how many lots are we up to? 321, I believe. 321 of Smalls back here. So let's go find the uh, count on the jewelry and let's see how many lots we have left to pull from upstairs. So we are up here and we we're we we're talking about what to pull, but I think I think we're gonna concentrate on this group right here. Um, there's some really interesting toys in here, a lot of airplane type stuff, related stuff, uh, war related stuff, and, and then we have this group, this group over here of uh, all soldiers and stuff like that. So I think this is what we're gonna finish our sale up with. So Lucas and I are gonna pull out of these two groups. And then we will show you what we end up deciding to take. There's some really neat candy container airplane over there. There's a Zeppelin. Uh, here's another candy container airplane. Those, those are wild. You got the military. Look at the tank, hold the tank up. The tank's automatic, got a guy that comes out and shoots. Uh, I don't know, Luke, wanna do toys? Yeah, toys are good. All right, let's do toys. We got through the first group and this is the next group that we have to sort. And this is a, a, a this came out of an estate and the, the lady that the, her, her parents, her parents estate, she brought it to us. We bought it at the antique center, but we bought a lot of bags and stuff over off of her for the past month or two. Um, and this, this group here, she had brought in, it was like the leftovers of the leftovers. And she, we went through it with her, but it was just put in a big pile as she was going through it. So anyway, interesting how this happened. Regardless, we have now have a pile here. We have to sort back out, but there's pearls in here. There's silver in here, uh, all kind of fun stuff. There's some coral, um, Kate Spade bag that we're going to get to. There's, there's some, uh, what was it? This all came out of a Michael Kors and a Valentino. I'm sorry, a Valentino purse. Um, and if you watched last week, um, Kate's, Kate's auction video she was having last week at the, at the farm over there before we did our live interview, we pulled a few pieces out of this bag uh, that just happened to be a part of this group. And then we also bought some gold from her, some different things, but let's sort through this. This is gonna be fun. There's a lot of Hanora pearls in here, uh, which, was, which was kind of exciting. So that's what this is. It's even got the original tag still on it. 
So this is a Honora Pearl set. Um, we'll just start start lining the Pearl sets here, Luke. Uh, tell us what you find. What do you got there? Is that amethyst? Uh, it looks like an amethyst necklace with a little sterling clasp on it. Oh, we got, a, got a couple watches here. Uh, we'll go through the watches at the end, but there's a lot of pearl sets in this in this grouping. A lot of Honora pearls, and this is like a base metal, but these are pearls. Uh, they're dyed, uh, like a green dye on the pearls. They are natural pearls with dyed. Um, so let's put those over there. Look at this tiger eye necklace with the sterling clasp. Isn't that seat. fun? That's got a lot of massive tiger That's eye huge. on there. Uh, this is an Ecclesi's watch. A lot of the Ecclesi's are sterling, but this one is actually stainless steel, but uh, Ecclesi's watch we'll put to the side. We'll get the watches all at the end. Uh, here's another pearl strand. Let's see where this one goes to. So no clasp, all pearls straight through. And so we have a nice, a nice pearl strand here. We'll make that one our next lot. This is ne uh, enamel, enamel angel. Cool. Let's see, this is a sterling a sterling top uh, pearl strand. I think that last one was too. Yeah, that, that green one I showed you, it's the same as this one. So it's got a sterling top on it, base metal on the back side, and these are all pearls. This is a just really cool grouping of pearl necklaces here. I bet we're gonna end up with 40 sets of pearls. Do you recognize this. that maker? Uh, what does this say? This says, man, that's hard to read. Is it Bob? I thought it was Pat. Is it Pat? I don't have a loop, you have a loop, let's see. See if I can make it out. This one is a signed piece of costume. Oh, well, this is a Bob Mackie. No, this is a yeah. This is this is a really nice Bob Mackie piece. Uh, enameled angel right here. We'll put that. We'll start a, a little little uh, decorative costume piece over here. Designer costume jewelry pile. We're gonna see where we get to out of this group. This is gonna be fun. Uh, a nice Nolan Miller net, uh, watch. And it's got little blue stones all the way around. Uh, Nolan Miller. And we'll put that one to the side. We sort a lot of jewelry. I bet I've, I've sorted through a hundred thousand pieces of jewelry, probably more than that. Probably several hundred thousand pieces in my life. Um, this, this is how we do it. You just gotta slowly take your time, untangle it, sort it, um, figure out what's there, and figure out how to put it in different lots. And this set of pearls here is wrapped up several times. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a mess right now too. You're in a mess on that side. and. Most of these are, they don't have, they don't have clasp on all of them. And here we go, here's a clasp. So if you find a clasp, it's kind of easier just to, if you're, if you're sorting this stuff, just, just take it apart like this, and then you can un unwind it. But that is a massive set of pearls here. Um, let me keep going, let's get this all the way untangled. Oh, look at that. What is it? Joanne Rivers. Oh, Joan, Joan. Joan. Joan Rivers, yeah, do you know, do you don't know Joan Rivers? But she, yeah, there we go, Joan Rivers, that's a Joan Rivers piece. You said um, designer over here? Yeah, put the designer over there. Um, here's another sterling and pearl, and that is massive. That's probably a 40, 50 inch pearl strand with sterling clasp on the end. And they're all multiple colors. Um, this is really cool. Again, this grouping, this lady, that we, we've got uh, Louis Vuitton bags from her and coach bags and uh, her mom collected. And she, she told me that she, had, she bought her mom a lot of this stuff. Um, Honora pearls, there's a bunch of Honora pearls in here. Um, uh, another okay, so here's the toys that we landed on for this sale. Uh, interesting group. We just got a mix of the different planes and stuff. And uh, the Mark's tank is really cool. The guy pops up and shoots. So all of these toys are going to go in the auction. There's some wine dot in here, and uh, this is a really interesting wine dot wagon. Really fun. And then this space, uh, this little unique art. It's got a blimp on one side and an airplane on the other that goes in circles. That's pretty cool. Uh, some steel planes in there. There's a couple of airplane candy containers that we put in here. We got the Zeppelin push toy, some cast iron Zeppelin blimps in the bottom. Wait, we got another pile. This is getting crazy today. So we've got we've probably sorted 300 pieces of jewelry out of this uh, this estate, um, and we just dumped this out. But this has just got like a lot of a lot of better looking stuff, and then this this is full of of uh, all kinds of pieces as well. So we're gonna. We're just gonna dig into this stuff. We'll go to that pile first, and then we'll come back to this one. The first thing I picked up was Nolan Miller. No, there's a lot of been a lot of Nolan Miller and Joan Rivers items um, in these this group. Um, Joan Rivers, you want to sell a little Joan Rivers pen by itself? Yeah, we'll put that with the other. One. All this is all Joan Rivers and Nolan Miller. Uh, that bag there is. Uh, here's the Joan, big Joan Rivers uh, gold gold tone piece here. See, see what else we got here. Let's just keep digging. Little pearl 
pearls. Uh, there's been a lot of allure to pearls. Allure. And the lore, there's been a lot of mylor. Um, mylor. Mylor, but all stainless steel, which kind of surprised me. I didn't realize they made so much stainless steel. Is that mylor? Uh, it's not marked. We found some Ecclesi sterling silver watches in here. This looks like another one. Uh, yeah, this is a st little sterling silver Ecclesi, Ecclesi watch. Uh, so that's kind of a fun piece. We'll sell it separate. So we can see, see what we're dealing with here. So we're earning our keep today. We gotta get all this sorted out. Bed for stainless steel. This one is stainless steel Mylor, but that, that is really, it feels like gold, but it's Mylor and it's stainless. I, I, again, this is all new to me on the Mylor. I did not, I've had a lot of gold Mylor, but not the stainless. Look at this massive Joan Rivers. Oh, pendant. here's a Joan Rivers uh, ladybug. Oh, pendant. I just put uh, another pendant. one. Yeah, I just put it in the bottom. Yeah, that, that one's bigger. But just look how big this pendant is. It's massive. It's massive. A lot of Joan Rivers in this grouping. Uh, what do we got here? This one is signed. Oh, this is a little silver. Irwin. A little sir, silver angel pendant right here. This one is signed Irwin Pearl. Uh, fun gold tone bracelet signed Irwin Pearl. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll go with that one. But let's just keep separating them all out. This one is a uh, Kenneth J. Lane uh, KJL. We'll put that in here, we'll sell it separate. Joan Rivers, this looks like a piece of jade. Yeah, this is sterling and jade. Uh, it's, it's a nice dark piece, but that's uh, that's, that's really interesting. Uh, let's see if the camera focuses in on that. Sterling and jade. Hmm. Where's the silver back down here? Okay. We haven't really found any gold other than just the clasp, um, which we, we knew that we knew there was a couple pieces of gold clasp in there. We were, we thought maybe we'd get lucky and find a piece of gold. Got another Malor stainless steel. We have these. This is fun. This is Joan Joan Rivers, and these look like uh, these. What are these? Sea turtles or bees or those are are those bees? Those are sea turtles. Bees and bugs. Bees, bees and bugs. bugs. Okay, we'll go with bees and bugs. Uh, show, show the viewers oh, there, yeah. bud. Show them what we got. We want to see too. Oh, bees and bugs. Mostly bees, a little, just a couple bugs. Almost all of this is signed either Nolan, like this one's Nolan Miller, this one's Joan Rivers, but I got to find the mate to the earring. The, the pen, pendant here is a Nolan Miller pendant. Um, we're we'll have groups of those later. This is another folly piece like that one earlier where the, the plastic just looks really cool. Look. We have a lot of these heavy. Uh, yeah, that's another one of those Kirk's Folly. Yep. That's the second one like that. A lot of big, big uh, gold tone um, necklaces like this, really heavy quality, but they're they're not gold, but they're uh, they're interesting. I'm, we're not sure what we're gonna land on those, whether we're gonna sell them at the auction or not. Um, or, or if not, they'll go in a big bag lot, so. This is some of the jewelry that you were seeing us sort through earlier. These are mostly pearls here. This is all mostly Joan Rivers and Nolan Miller. The same with this one, and then this is all sterling fitted items in this case here. Uh, these are all real uh, sterling and pearl. There's some jade over there, some amethyst, and then we have some bag, some bag jewelry out of that stuff that we decided that uh, we're just gonna sell in groups. And that's the rest of the jewelry that we sorted out. These smalls right here, um, we're down to about 50 lots left that we need to pull for the auction, but I wanna wait until Thursday morning and, and kind of see where we, uh, where we end up, um, and we'll, we'll decide from there. Okay, hey, so this is the end of the uh, the pulling video, the stuff we were just pulling for the auction. So Luke, uh, any other thoughts you want to tell anybody or share? Well, I need some cool stuff. So we got the stuff, this is gonna be a fun sale. We got everything from Stife to gold to diamonds uh, to Rolex watches. I'm excited to see how the Stife does. To some artwork. Uh, it'll be fun to sell. This will be the sale after Thanksgiving. So we have the weekend of the Thanksgiving off and then we'll come back and have this auction the week after. So again, hopefully that was entertaining for you guys. Uh, you enjoy watching the process behind the scenes. Uh, don't forget to follow our other YouTube channel as well. What's it called? Heart of Ohio Antiques. At Heart of Ohio Antiques. Uh, blessings. Thanks, guys.